This video is not sponsored by DeWalt or anyone else. I purchased this tool with my own money from Screwfix. The tool cost £199.99. pence. The nails you need with this tool also were purchased with my own money from Screwfix. The cost of the nails were £105 for 17,500 nails. Also in this video, some of the stuff I talk about not, might not be factually correct. It's just my opinion. I've got my own experience and my own opinions on how these tools should be used, what you can do with them and how I think you should use them. Anything I say in this video is not advice, it's just my opinion. Enjoy. Right, okay. Got the camera set up. It's literally balancing on a chair leg and a tripod sideways, so hopefully it don't fall over. Okay, so I do a lot of fencing and I've needed something to do close board fencing quicker. So what I've been looking for is a nail gun. So I looked on YouTube, there was no videos really to tell you what sort of nail gun you need to do close board fencing in the UK. So I know what I need, but there wasn't really a video out there giving you the information what sort of nail gun you're gonna need um, and what the best one to get is. So, so I've done a bit of research and I've had nail guns before, I've had PAS loads. PAS loads are great. I've got some brads here. So you've got first fix and second fix PAS load. I've had both. These are brads. This is for a second fix PAS load. So it's a finishing nailer. These are 16 gauge. So some people use these for fencing, but in my opinion, they're no good. You need a bigger head. Can you see that? You need a bigger head on the on the nail holding the feather lap on, otherwise the wood's gonna pull through. These are brads. They're not gonna be any good, because when you nail them in, they're gonna be tight. It's gonna hold it on there. But it isn't gonna, it's not gonna stay there for long. I reckon the wood's gonna pull off on that. I'm not sure, I haven't tried it, but I don't have any confidence in those. And with these, with PAS loads, you need the gas as well. These are the gas cartridges for these. They don't really work very well if it's cold. It only works if they're warm. They're temperamental, they break down a lot. Um, they're good, but I didn't fancy that. And plus, PAS loads don't do a nailer for what I need. What I've got here is to what one does. So you don't want those. What I'm looking for is something to put these in. Now these are bright nails. You get them galvanized as well. So you want these for close board fencing. These are 40 mil, good length. So you've got 10 mil in the, tip, 10 mil in the feather lap, 30 mil in the, um, in the arras rail behind that hold it on nicely so now gun wise you need something that's going to shoot these but obviously they've got to be collated now by collated i mean like this these are collated so it's on a reel like bullets on a machine gun so they're what you want they're the nails but there's only one nail gun that i found that fires these and it's this DeWalt DPN 64C um, it's a pneumatic nail gun so you need an air compressor which I've already got so um, that's no problem for me DeWalt do do first fix and second fix nail guns like PAS load but again they don't shoot the nails that I need to be using which are these they don't use them so no good so what I've done I found this so on screw fix, I'll show you. This is it. This is the one you want. So you do all do other guns like this. These are sec um, second fix or finishing nailers. They shoot brads. They're no good. You know, I've got all the DeWalt tools with the batteries and stuff. This is a pneumatic one, but it only shoots brads. Brads ain't gonna work. They're just gonna pull through. Again, I've used these before, same as a Pazload um, first fix nail gun. Um, 
the nails are too long 50 to 90 mil nails that's, that's too long it's no good and plus they're the wrong type of nails really so they're no good none of that's any good what you want is this is which i've got in the box here This is the kitty. So it's quite a cool looking thing actually. It's mostly metal construction. This uh, hopper magazine case, what you want to call it, it's where your nails go. Works the same way as a battery nail gun or a pads load. You gotta push it down to let it fire. So safety, they're all the same. So this one here, you need a, an air compressor to use this, which I've already got. I've got the hose, got all that already. I'll show you what that looks like. The air comes out here when you're firing. You can move this around to direct the um, exhaust when you're firing the nails. That's pretty good. I don't know, I don't think you really need that. So that's that. So you pop this open, you, know, you can let your nails go in here. This bit folds up. It's all metal. This looks pretty. It's pretty good. I, I have given it a test. Uh, I've got a big job to use this on next week, so we'll see how it goes in the real world. So these nails go in. There's a little tab that holds them together, so they don't undo in the box. Pop that in there like that. Undo it a little bit. You've got to line it up up here. I think you just got to get that first nail in to there. That's where that first one needs to be. It's like there's like little tabs here. Sits in there quite easy. So you just press that in there, fold that bit over, and then use this button here with your thumb, click it in, and that's it, they're in there. That's that. And that's ready to go. And you've got a little window flap thing here i think it's what it's for so you can see how many nails you've got left and you can also click it in to maybe stop the nails moving around a bit i don't know but um that's that so this is using the nails i need 32 mil to 64 mil i use generally about 40 mil nails for close board fencing that's all you need this is perfect it's the only one i found that does the job so let me show you what I'm talking about with these nails, where they go and what they look like. Okay, bear with me. I'm not, I haven't got any of the right kit for doing videos. I'm using my phone. It's balancing on a chair leg. So bear with me. I know it's useless. Sound quality is probably crap. But um, I'm the first one to criticise someone doing YouTube and doing crap quality videos. But I'm, I've never, I'm not set up at all for videos. So, but see this is what they are look these are the nails this is an old piece of picket fencing so this has been outside this is an old bit so they're going a bit rusty so when the nails are new they're galvanized but when they get striked into the timber i think uh, some of the galvanized material the zinc plating or whatever it is i think it's zinc plating i'm not sure i think that comes off and that's what makes them rust but that's what that's what i'm using them for And these are the nails. So this is a box of collated nails from DeWalt to go with the DeWalt tool itself. So these are these are these are made for each other. It's literally a case full of them. So you've got five layers in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's fifty coils in there. Um the box says 17,500 nails. Now, when I ordered them from Screwfix, I thought that was a typo. I thought that can't be right. But apparently it is. That's how many's in there. So that'll do me probably about, about 10 fences, maybe. 10 fence jobs that'll last me. This box of nails was 105 quid. It's heavy as well. That's what it is. That's what you want. They do do other sizes, mostly very similar to this, slightly longer, slightly shorter. I think the, the gauge of the nails, you can go 
different size, 2mm to 2.5mm. But um, I don't know what these ones are actually. I think they're 2.5mm. 2mm these ones, but they're perfect. That's what I need. So I can't wait to use this. So I'll show you the air compressor actually, what I'm plugging it into. So you see what that's all about. It's only a standing one, it's only cheap. 100 quid I think it is. Screw fix again. Right, it's going to be a bit wobbly because um, I'm holding the phone now, but this is the compressor I'm using. So I've had this a while. Um, they're pretty good these. They're only 100 quid and they come with a hose, not this hose. They don't come with this hose. This is a heavy gauge um, 10 meter hose. They come with a small one, which is this one here. They come with that, but that's no good. It's a bit Mickey Mouse. You want a bigger one. And they also don't have the... Um, the ends are different. I don't know what they're called, to be honest. These are the ones I like to use. These are the normal ones. They come with like a different type, but you want to change them over, get onto these ones. These are better. So that's the machine I use. It's a eight bar compressor, 24 liter. I don't think you need one that big, to be honest. Um, the gun says it runs at just over eight bar, but you can run it. I've tested it. I've run it at lower pressures. I've run it at about four or six. Four to six bar works quite nicely. But that's what I'm using. They're not expensive. The um, the belt inside on the motor, on the piston, it's got like a little rubber belt in there. That broke a while ago, which I repaired. It was really hard work changing that over. But um, again, seven pound for the part. You know, if it happens again, I probably just buy a whole new compressor because it was a pig of a job to change over. And I don't even think I've done it properly. There must be an easy way of doing it because it wasn't easy at all. But that's what I'm using. So I'll run that off a generator next week and that'll be fine. Right then, so I hope that was useful because I couldn't find any information anywhere on YouTube on what sort of nail gun I was going to need, if it was available, where I was going to get it from, how much it was going to be. So, you know, I can't wait to use this to be honest. I think it's going to be quite good. It's got some power, I've, I've, I've used it in the garage, it's loud, but um, it's going to do the job. My brother's got a YouTube channel called um, Rusty DIY. He'll probably be putting this um, video on his channel if it um, makes a grade. Um, as I, I haven't got all the equipment, I haven't got a proper microphone. Um, I'm not geared up for making videos, but this is going to be helpful to someone who's looking for a nail gun that's going to do the job for close board fencing. So let me know what you think. If you've got, if anyone else has used a nail gun for close board fencing, what is it? Where'd you get it from? How much it cost? Um, you know, I know you can use a first fix nail gun, but I don't want to use one of those because they're the wrong nails. You can't get them to shoot these sort of nails. They're, they're like, they're, the heads are like half, half round heads. They're too long. Um, the gauge is too thick. They're no good. You need this sort of thing. You need these nails. Um, this is going to be, the, this is going to be the kiddie. So, you know, I'll see how I get on with it and I might even do another video of me using it on the job if I can be bothered to get the camera out and tripod and that but it's, it's hard work filming I appreciate people do YouTube um, regularly and I don't know how they do it to be honest because it, it's really hard to make videos and I, I'll say I don't make videos I don't really know what I'm doing but the people that do do it I appreciate how hard it is and how much time and effort they put in so you know, good luck to them Hopefully this video will be helpful to someone as well. All right, cheers for looking.